So I'm currently back in the Farnix and I'm going to try and climb five of the West Farnix today. The weather seems good. It's a bit of a later start. The forecast was fog all morning, but it seems to have lifted earlier than the forecast said, so that's good. But there's five, the loop of five here. I'm going to try and do the five, which will, that'll take my Monroe total up to 13. But if I don't manage the five, you can do the three on the ridge and then come back. But the distance, you're probably just as well doing the five, so I will try and get five out of the way. But it looks like it's going to be a long, long day. I hope there's, I think there's water um, between the third and fourth Monroe, but I'm carrying two or three litres anyway. But hopefully the weather stays good. I think it is. It's blue skies all around. If anything, I'm worried it's going to be too hot. So I'm going to do this in the clockwise direction and I'll put the name of all the Monroes on the screen just now because I'm not pronouncing them. <laughs> So after much indecision, I decided to go anti-clockwise. This bit's pretty steep at the start, and I feel the heat already, it's 10 o'clock. There's the top of that first climb. That comes uphill pretty quick. So there's one, two, three, four, five Monroes. So it's a fair climb for not even the first Monroe, but it didn't take too long, just under an hour. I've just reached the joint between the two Monroes and it's fully clogged in. Just about at the top of the first Monroe of the day. And look at this is not what I expected from the start of the day. I think that is the summit, 997 meters. A little bit more sun at the top, this is not Monroe, this is a junction point between the Monroe I've just visited and Skir Brett. Nearly at the summit of Skirbrek, the second Monroe, and it was clear a second ago. As soon as I pull the camera out, it's fogged again. Here's Monroe number two of the day, Skirbrek. So 
where I go in between Monroe two and three. So this is the bad drop. This is 500 meters of descent. Wow, it's opened up and showed me what I did not want to see, which is the, the drop down and back up to the other side. That's a long way. And I haven't videoed up there, that was a killer. From over there, all the way down, and all the way back up. And there's my next one. Screwing on Clackila, I think it's called. And there's the top of Screw and Moore there. <clears throat> I think that's the first time I've seen the top all day. Another ridge, the four East Spanish, Neil Gorm. Now it's just a little walk across. That's what I hope is the summit cairn over there.
So yeah, maybe an hour, an hour and a half to the bottom and then back to the car from there. pretty much it for this video so that was a 10 hour day which is the longest day I've had on the hills yet especially solo that just that was a long day that was enjoyable shame about the flag and cloud on the first two I would have liked to see some views off of them but unfortunately we don't have any control over what the weather's gonna be like but at least I got views off the other three be quite upset if you've done all five and got no views at all so i'm pretty happy that i got that at least so that's pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next one hopefully it won't be as long a day as this maybe just one or two i'll just take it easy